Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. Charnita's World came on on the 23rd, three days ago, and Mel also hosted an event with C Lux Collection. So, we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. She posted a clip. Sassy TV got a chance to attend the event. You guys head over to her channel if you haven't already to watch the video. She recorded the entire thing. So shouts out to Sassy. Let's get into this video. Mill is also running a sale. You guys know she dropped her apple and cinnamon duo for the holidays. I think this is only going to be limited edition, you guys. I think she is getting rid of all of these and they are not going to be up for purchase maybe until next year or not next year, but next season. Let's get into it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. Like I said earlier, Mill is right now running a sale for her holiday scrubs see at first when she launched these i didn't know if they were going to be limited edition or not but i figured they would that makes the most sense obviously and i'm not gonna lie y'all i'm kind of bummed out because i am so here for that pumpkin scrub pumpkin spice for me slaps every time and i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be real biased i think it's because it tastes so good i love the apple cinnamon scrub when i need to really moisturize my skin for whatever reason i think that apple cinnamon got a lot more oil into it so when you scrub with that it definitely leaves your skin really moisturized all of them leave your skin moisturized but the apple cinnamon one it leaves your skin really moisturized. Sometimes you don't even have to put moisturizer on or any oils on after you get out the shower. I don't recommend that though, but it feels like it's moisturized, like oil is on your skin after you use the apple cinnamon. Like I said, all of them feel like that, but more so when you use an apple. But my favorite is still gonna be pumpkin spice. It tastes so heavenly. I don't think you guys are supposed to be eating the scrubs, but these are all natural products. So in my mind, if they are natural products, then you can absolutely eat them. But wait, I'm not recommending that. I'm not recommending that. I'm just saying. I do kind of, I don't take like a big fat scoop and eat it. I ain't saying do that. But I definitely moisturize my lips. And you know how you're supposed to let the water take the scrub down? I kind of somehow always end up chewing on it. I don't know, man. That shit is not okay. And truth be told, I'm not even ashamed to say that. Remember that show that I was talking about they need to add to Nubian for people that got like strange addictions? Go ahead and sign me up. Do y'all remember when I got the news that Mill was going to be doing a three-part docu-series for the Melometers? And she also said that people can enter in to sign up. Well, they did already release the announcement. I forgot about that announcement or I kind of missed it. Y'all know I had a lot going on. But you guys could go ahead and email support at mellometers.com. Give your full legal name, social media account, name, and your history as a Mellometer. And she's saying she's only going to pick 10 people. So if you guys want to be a part of that, now is the time to go ahead and start emailing. You were supposed to already go ahead and email, but she hasn't gotten to her emails yet. She gave us an update on her social media accounts and let us know she's been real busy she hasn't gotten a chance to look at the emails but she will be looking at the emails the week coming up so if y'all haven't emailed her like i haven't yet go ahead and get to it because i will be working on that tonight. and if y'all haven't gotten y'all tickets to the event that she's going to be having for the three-part docu-series in atlanta march the 30th at the biltmore you should have luck babe <laughs> Don't look like there's any more tickets for you. She has sold out. The last time I looked on her Instagram, she reported that it was only nine slots left. That was yesterday in the afternoon, babe. <laughs> You're done. 
the tickets are gone. And yes, I went ahead and got my general admission tickets, but let me tell you something, you VIP hoes. When I see y'all up in the building, I'm going to line y'all up. Cause me, I was supposed to be VIP, but I was going through some things, but that's okay. I got y'all. I got y'all ass. I got y'all ass. I'ma see y'all. I'ma see y'all when we there. Hey guys, my name is Krista and I am the owner of C Lux Collection here in Dothan, Alabama. We brought Melody Rogers out here so that she can let us know about her own personal success story. First of all, thank you all for coming out. Whenever we're operating, walking in life, operating our business, we have to operate and do all those things with as kingdom children, with integrity, with morals, at a certain standard, at a certain level. Like, look around. I need everybody to look around. This was done in excellence. So now that I have walked in obedience and I have gotten on my purpose and I'm not allowed anything to distract me from that, you can't get mad at the blessings that are coming from the obedience. Operating in excellence, because that's how serious your purpose should be. Don't ever let anybody trump God's purpose for your life. No one. I don't care children, mama, daddy, husband, wife, it don't matter. Nobody is bigger than God. There is favor on the other side of obedience. The event looked beautiful, well put together, well thought out as all her events are. I watched Sassy's TV um, video where she went live showcasing what everybody was talking about and what Mel was speaking about. And she was just giving a lot of advice, encouragement, etc. And I know there's been a lot of chatter on YouTube about Mel and her Nubian network premiere with Sharnita's World and all of this nonsense. But we are here to support Mel, whether it was a service era for a lot of people being on the platform or it being a service er era and them just not being able to actually boot the damn show ironically enough they didn't or weren't able to boot the show when all of us was on the platform so fuck what the haters talking about in my opinion i believe that it crashed because a lot of people was on that platform and they weren't accustomed to that many people being on the platform they can come back and let us know if that's right or wrong when they deem it's necessary y'all get in my comment section okay because i don't care what a hating ass hoe got to say all right let me know what y'all think about everything going on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. I know y'all going to be ready for Sharnita's World. I'm thinking that they're going to re-air it. So I'll keep y'all up to date on that. Yeah, I pull up Roto Winner, Johnny. I pull up Roto Winner, Johnny. I pull up Roto Winner, Johnny. Oh, it's not, 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 it's not,